Hey, uh, have, have you fellas seen a little boy? We've just been playing. We ain't seen anybody, mister. Well, well, he's about eight years old. He's my brother. Your brother, huh? What's he look like? You know, he looks like a kid. <laughs> he was wearing jeans and a blue sweater. Does he have a baseball cap on, lady? Well, yes. Would that be him up there? <laughs> What in the world are you doing up there? Sitting in a tree, Dad. Well, come down. I... Well, don't frighten him. He might fall. Uh, well, Beaver. Come on down, boy. Supper's ready. Uh -uh. <laughs> Beaver, please come down out of that tree. I can't. You'll hit me. He's been up there an hour, lady. Well, we've been looking for him all day. Beaver, come on down here. What's the trouble? There's a boy up there in that tree. Oh, I thought it was a cat. Come on, Dave. Hi, Wally. Hi, Beef. You squealed on me. I had to. You know how it is. Theodore Cleaver, I demand you come down out of that tree this minute and stop this foolishness. I'm not coming down. You'll hit me. Well, you just better better. <laughs> Why, Beaver, you know we never hit you. What about the time I spilled the ink on the rug? Uh, never mind. I don't think he's coming down. He'll come down all right. Beaver, you come on down out of that tree or I'm coming up there after you. Uh-uh. I'm going to stay here until I die. And then you'll be sorry. All right. Well, all right, Beaver. If you want to stay up there, I... I guess your father and Wally and I'll just have to go home and have supper. You're gonna leave me here alone? <laughs> well, that's what you want. But if it rains, I'll get all wet. <laughs> yes, I guess you will. Maybe I'd better come home and get my raincoat, and then come back up here. <laughs> you know, that's a good idea. Boy, when they get him home, they'll really kill him. <laughs> I gave the beaver a hot bath. It was a little worse for wear. <laughs> I'm not in such good shape myself. Ward. Uh-huh. Do you think he would really have stayed up there until he died? Sure. I would have when I was a kid. If you said you were going to, you did. <laughs> Ward. Uh-huh. Oh, the note and the beaver being scared and running away. Do you think Miss Canfield will understand all that? She might. I think there's a pretty good chance she was a kid once herself. <laughs> Theodore, you can catch up with the rest of the class tomorrow. You know now what was in that note I wrote to your mother and father, don't you? Yeah. You wanted me to play Smokey the Bear. Well, that's right. Why did you assume that what I wrote in the note was something bad? I don't know. Well, you must have had a reason. Well... Well, what? I guess it's because you're a teacher. <laughs> Theodore... Teachers aren't the natural enemies of little boys. You know, it's very hard to be a good teacher. Well, someone once said that a good teacher is like a candle, consumes itself to light the way for others. Do you understand? Kind of, sort of. You know, this is your first year in the second grade, and it's my first year, too. We could learn a lot from one another. Would you help me? I'll try. For one thing, don't make the boys wear aprons when we do finger painting. Well, that's a very good suggestion. I'll remember that, Theodore. Miss Canfield, will you do me a favor? Sure. Call me Beaver? It's a deal, Beaver. Can I go home now? Of course. <laughs> Bye, Mom. 
I'll be home right after school and tell Dad to bring home the fish food. Beaver! What's this? It's my shrunken head. Oh, so it is. Why are you taking it to school? I thought Miss Canfield might like it. You know, I think she might too. Bye.